angels. Okay, we've got some people who've found themselves in a bit of trouble this week, and we're gonna do everything that we can to help them out. First up, Katie, we've got a couple who've done it tough trying to get a new family off the ground. Their names are Shane and Janine, and they've put lots of money into IVF treatment. The good news is that it's worked, but now they're facing some hefty bills with three little ones on the way. Simone, this is Amanda and her little brother Mitchell. Their puppy Kelly was stolen a little while back. We need to find a replacement fast, and I've heard there's one breed they've really got their heart set on, but finding it is not going to be easy. And Jackie, I need you to arrange a special surprise for this woman. Her name's Jane McCartan, and she's devoted years to fostering kids. Her husband thinks it's about time she gets something special herself. Trouble is, he's a little short on ideas on how to pull it all together. So what are we looking at, maybe doing something around the house? I'll leave it up to you, Jackie, but don't just be thinking bricks and mortar. OK, got it. So that's it, Angels. Not a moment to lose. And remember, surprise is the key. In the case of Janine, Shane and the looming triplets, I'm heading to their country property to check out what needs doing and how long we've got. I've arranged for Shane to meet me and fill me in. Well, this looks like our guy. Hi, how are you going? You must be Kate. I am indeed. That's it. Jump in, it gets a bit rough. All right, I'll trust you. So it must have been a challenge, starting up and going through IVF. <laughs> yeah, oh, over, four, over four years. Yeah. Uh, with everything, I suppose, and the time and things, probably nearly 20,000 all up. Oh, okay. But, um... And how did you feel when you found out you had three on the way? Oh, shocked. But shocked, happy shocked. Yeah. Shocked and I'm betting hugely underprepared. I phoned ahead for a local decorator to help out, because it sounds like the nursery might be a good place to start. This is it here. Well, I'll tell you what, Shane, you've, you've made a good start. This room looks pretty good already. Now you must be Marlene, yes. magic mum. Yes. And Evelyn, thank you for coming. You're We're welcome. our uh, interior designer for the day, Shane, and Evelyn's going to be helping us out. So while they get cracking on the nursery, my mission is to track down what else Shane and Janine are going to need, where to find it and how to get it here on time. My subject is Jane McCartan, and from what I've heard from her husband, Tony, she really needs something to lift her spirits after some difficult times. Oh, fantastic. Tony's obviously done his job, because as you can see, the driveway is clear, so let's go inside. This is my wife, Jane. Oh, and you're beautiful Jane's a family. devoted foster yes. mum to kids with special this needs, David. but two years ago, her own son, David, passed away. That same year, more tragedy when foster child Michael also died. How's Jane holding up? I mean, she seems like an amazing woman. Jane is an amazing person. She's just as much fun today as the first day that I met her. And I'd really like to do something special for her. So what's the one thing that's going to make Jane really happy? Come and I'll show you. Okay. Jane has always wanted this room opened up and a deck. Oh, that'd be lovely. We'd love to renew our marriage vows on the deck. Once the deck's completed, that's what would make her happy? Particularly following the year that we've, we've had. Well, maybe we could try and recreate something similar to your wedding day. Do it all up out here. Did you get married in a garden? Yes. Again? You did? It would be really lovely. Fantastic. We were so out came the photo yes, albums to revisit beautiful. that day 29 yes, years ago. Do you still keep in contact with the best man or any of the bridesmaids? Anyone that we can bring to try and recreate it so yes. that it's similar to the original day? Yes, we do. And this is Kate, our bridesmaid. But Kate lives in Ireland. Does she still keep in contact with Jane? Yes, she does, yeah. constantly on the phone, and, and they write at Christmas and throughout the year. Well, why don't we fly her over? Are that you would serious? be a big surprise for Jane, wouldn't Jane it? Jane would be absolutely flabbergasted. Would she? She'd be speechless. <laughs> well, I have got quite a challenge ahead of me. I have to organise Kate to fly in from Ireland, who's her bridesmaid. Then we have to organise this big ceremony, and Tom, Tom's a builder that I've rustled up. He's going to help us out with the deck. Now, Tom, what do we need here? Jackie, I'm going to need 12 metres of bearers, 40 metres of joists, and about 16 square metres of decking, a nice big triangle shade cloth, and an extra pair of hands for me. Boy, I better get busy then. I also need a post hole digger and two drop saws. Then I need 12 bags of quick set concrete. I need a chisel, a spade, a Well, that's sorted. Now I'm going off to get the timber so we can start on this deck. 
I reckon my best shot at this is probably with Ron at Crescent Timber. Crescent Timber for us. How much timber do you want, Jackie? Um, looking at about $2,000 worth. Wow. Oh, big <laughs> deck. It is mm. quite an ass. It really is a great cause. I mean, yeah. she is a wonderful I suppose you want it delivered as well? Yes, I would like it delivered because I can't fit it all in the car. No. <laughs> so I'd like it delivered and quite quickly. Well, if it's a good cause, uh, we'd uh, love to help you. Really? Yeah. We got ourselves a deal? Certainly. That would be fantastic. Ron, you good. are an amazing man. Good. As Jane heads off for the weekend, it's time to move in. OK, boys, let's go. I've got a family whose dog was stolen. My mission is to get them a new puppy. So first, I better find out what kind of dog they want. My subjects are Mitchell and big sister Amanda. They'd saved for ages to buy their last puppy and finding a new one could be costly. Uh, Kelly was a, uh, a, a Kelpie cross Labrador. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we had her since she was uh, five weeks old. One Thursday night, someone actually opened our gate and stole Kelly from us. Well, they came through here? They came, came through our side gate and stole Kelly. Yeah. And then how were the children? Oh, the children were devastated. And if you could get another dog, what sort of dog would it be? When we, when we went to buy a dog, we really wanted a, a cream Labrador. Mm. That's, that was our dream dog. You know what, David, you've given me an idea. I reckon that I can try and track down one, no promises here, and... Uh, we can surprise the kids. What do you think about oh, that? Oh, that would be wonderful. That would be really wrapped. All right. Really OK, I'll see what I can do in Mum's word. OK. All right, Thank see you, you soon, much. David. So I need to find a Labrador breeder and one with a very big heart. Hello. Listen, um, I was wanting to know if you've got any Labrador puppies. Believe it or not, my friends do not get a vote on who I date. It's my life. I call the shots. Ted, now. Yeah, coming. It starts with a... <laughs> and ends with... <laughs> Who wants to knock off early? Yeah! Run, you can't! Run! How I Met Your Mother, weeknights at 7. There's nothing else like it, and it's got the germ-ridden rim block cage in its sights. Fresh discs from Duck. Flip the barrel into the holder, and you're ready for action. Up to seven days of fragrance from each disc, but no cage to harbor germs like E. coli, so they help keep your toilet clean and fresh. Fresh discs from Duck. <laughs> cut out the cage and you cut out the germs. No job's too tough for Duck. And with a... Seven's new Gangs of Oz. So the hunt is on to find a cream Labrador puppy to replace the Brown family's stolen pooch. Do you have any cream Labrador puppies? Yes. It sounds like breeder Diana Bogue may have come to the rescue. Oh, you've got one left. Oh, Diana, listen, I'm on my way. Yes, I'll see you soon. Well, this sounds promising. Only trouble is it's the last of their litter, and I'm going to need all my powers of persuasion to pull this one off. Hello. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you must be Chloe. Is she gorgeous? She is truly gorgeous. And uh, how is she with children? Oh, she's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely she wonderful. Like loves she untying their shoelaces. Yeah. Now, Chloe looks like she would be absolutely perfect for our cause. Diana, how would you feel about handing her over to the Brown family? It's fine by me, but I would have to discuss it with the children. Yeah, let's go have a family meeting about this Brown family. Would you like them to give the pup to them? Sorry, Simone. It's a private family meeting. Absolutely. Sorry, I we won't be long. Grace, thank Jesus, you. Please. Meanwhile, on the farm, the triplets are getting closer, and my list is getting bigger. Yep. You're going to need three baby car seats, Definitely. convertible from little to big, a nine bottle steriliser. Now, is there anything else you need? A nappy wrapper. All right, nappy wrapper. Done deal. It's all under control. Oh, look, I really need to know uh, what you've got in the way of um, baby car seats. I've got a triplet situation happening. Now, look, the issue I've got is I need to whip this together in a day. Oh, you're a legend. Don't go too crazy. A border up the top. Yeah. I'm not gonna... gonna... You're not going to open when he's a pool, are you? No, I want you to bring him down. See ya. Bye. <laughs> They're good colours for boys and girls, aren't they? Yeah, I really need something with a lot of drawers, because the whole room's quite small with all the cots in there and that. If we don't have something under this change table, then there's really not much point. Oh. So we've got sort of that character wall here, do you think so? Yep. Now, from what I can tell, this must be the family car. 
Now, so far, all of the surprises have been for Janine, but Shane deserves one too. Frankly, their sedan's not going to cope with the triplets and all that comes with them. So, I need to wrangle me a wagon. Hi there, Bill. My name's Katie from Undercover Angels. How are you, mate? Mm, pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Now, I'm hoping you can help me out. I'm on a mission to help a local couple who've just had triplets. And the word around Cowra is that you're the man to speak to when it comes to cars. Is that true? I reckon so. Okay. Something like this one here, a, uh, a six-seater wagon, uh, plenty of room in the uh, the back seat for, uh, for uh, baby seats, plenty of room in the back for strollers and prams and bassinets, etc. I'll tell you what, there is, there is a catch oh, yeah. to today. <laughs> I'm going to hit you hard on this one. I need you to give me this car. I know I'm asking a lot. I'm going to have to ask you to sort of reach in on your heartstrings here. I will have a think about it and All go right. and have a talk with the boys. And How long have I got? you got a couple of hours, mate. I know. <laughs> it took me more than that, that time to ask my wife to marry me. Oh, look, if anyone can do it, you can. I've got a good vibe about you, but I'll leave you with it for a couple of hours. OK. okay? Get back to me. See how right you go. Up. Shall do. And I'm going to have to do some fast talking too to surprise super foster mum Jane. I need to find her bridesmaid Kate in Ireland. It's been 23 years since they last met. And we're also building the perfect setting for Jane and husband Tony to renew their wedding vows. Time to pop a little question of my own. Hi, is that Kate? Yes, it is. Hi, my name's Jackie. I'm calling from Australia. Obviously, you don't know who I am, so I'll get straight to the point. Now, you were a bridesmaid at Jane and Tony's wedding about 29 years ago in Belfast. Yes. Well, it's been a long time since you've seen them, I know. Have you been to Australia before? No. How would you like to come? Because I've booked your ticket and the plane leaves this afternoon. What exactly do you mean? Who is Kate, this? you're just going to have to trust me on this one, but I really, really need you to get on that plane. Now, the tickets are there. It leaves at 4 o'clock your time, and if you call me from the plane, I'll explain everything then. Hello, Jackie speaking. Hello, Jackie. It's Kate here calling from the plane. Oh, I am so glad you made it. Thank you for trusting me. I know this must seem very weird to you. Now, what is this all about? OK, let me start from the beginning. Now, I'm organising this surprise for Jane and Tony. Really? So how long have you known Jane for? Oh, I've known Jane, I'm sure, now for 33 years. We've been very good friends for that length of time. And when she went to England, we sort of kept in touch, but I, I've missed her a lot, and she was always a very good friend to me, and I, will, I definitely have missed her, and I'm so looking forward to seeing her now. So it's all coming together beautifully, and just in time, because Jane's due back home any minute. Well, it stays cleaner longer. No job's too tough for duck. <laughs> After much searching, I've managed to track down Chloe, a beautiful cream Labrador puppy. But will her family be prepared to let her go and help out little Mitchell and Amanda? Simone? Hi. Oh, we have decided as a family. Right. Yes, and we would like to give the puppy to the Brown family. Oh, thank you all so much. You have made two little children very happy. Thank On one you. condition, though, please. Oh. May I come with you to see the puppy's new home? Diana, I would love for you to come with us. Terrific. Well, let's get going, then. OK, thank you. Yes, David, Simone here. Listen, uh, I found your dream puppy. Yes, I have. And uh, even better news, we're on our way. Yes, puppy on board. David, we'll see you soon. Just time for a quick checkup at the local vet. Right. Hello, aren't you gorgeous? Hey. Then it's a quick dash to Amanda and Mitchell's house in time to spring the surprise. I reckon this will be a homecoming they'll never forget. And I'm hoping that'll be the case in my mission too. Work on Jane and Tony's new deck is all done, and with the other surprises I've got lined up for Jane, here she is. This is going to be big. Now, first of all, I'll introduce myself. I'm Jackie from Undercover Angels. Oh, hi, Jackie. <laughs> I've been working with your lovely husband, Tony. <laughs> Don't say that. OK. Get ready, Jane. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
It's wonderful. Thank you. Just what you always wanted. I can't believe it. Oh, that's so sad. Like the deck? It's, it's all right. Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. I'm just freaking. You try it, I'd love it. <laughs> it's pretty sturdy. At least we hope, right, guys? See what happens. <laughs> Jane, yeah. guess what? Yeah. That's not the only surprise. Oh, you're yeah. along here. And I'm still working on a few surprises myself. The new nurseries come up trumps, but it's nothing compared to the overnight events at the hospital where babies Jack, Amy and Darcy have arrived safely. They're in intensive care and doing fine. But being eight weeks premature, they'll have to stay a while yet. But Janine's ready to come home. All right, we've got just about everything under the sun. We're now moments away. Shane and Janine, Shane, my magic accomplice, is bringing Janine in. Now, I'm hoping she's going to get the shock of her life. I reckon we've done a pretty good job. From this to this. I sure hope she likes it. Isn't that lovely? Oh, it's fabulous. Undercover Angels, with the help of your lovely husband here, we've, we've, we've helped give you a beautiful room. For your oh, lovely look at that very That's okay, darling. Oh. This is all your stuff to play with. We thought we'd give you a helping hand with a, uh, a oh, big new family on the way. And the poo bear. We heard you like to poo bear. Yeah. I'm hoping that's true yeah. because we've got a nappy wrapper for the millions of nappies you're going to have. All your little poo bear things on, the, on the door there. <laughs> So we're hoping you like the colour scheme. It's fantastic. Yeah? It's just perfect. Come on, have a look around. We've got your change table here. Oh. With all storage, lots of drawers inside, right? You've got your little toys here. Oh. Millions of toys. Me. For everyone to have. Oh. Have a look around. It's just a bit much. I know, no, no, it's a bit much to take in, isn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm going great. You are you see right? these babies, they're beautiful. I've heard they're absolute angels. Oh, they're fabulous. Thank you very much, no. everybody. <laughs> oh, any yes, yeah. that's fine. Now, yeah, for afterwards, when you settle down, you've got to... So far, so good, good. but don't dry your eyes yet, Shane. You've got another surprise just around the corner. Support at this time. Bill's Katie. We're ready for you, mate. You want to bring the car around? Great. See you soon. Bye. Your home in 2010, the State of the Nation Real Estate Special. The good, the bad, the bargains. Will your home rise in value? And for buyers, where should you settle? Sydney's top experts you can bank on. Plus, picture perfect, how to get the best shots from all those digital cameras and the cameras to avoid. On Sevens Today Tonight. Call 1300 781 140 or go online to meaningfulbeauty.com.au right now. I know, because you were talking about, you know, it's going to be a hassle fitting the... Um, Fit them all the in, yeah. ...in the back of the car and all that. Probably... You ready for this, Shane? You, but, um, Shane, how'd you like to uh, drive this baby away? Oh. What, the car? Yes, the car. Oh, well, you're kidding. No, and you'll find oh, three baby seats in the back. Shane, this is Bill Bundy from Caramotors. Hey, how are you, mate? Heard a lot about you, Shane. Oh, jeez. Oh. Is this going to suit your needs? Oh, you're kidding. No. You can thank Bill for this one. He's helped us out. Oh. The car. Let's check it out. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Bill, is this back open? I reckon that pram will fit oh, pretty good in the back. Oh, look at the space. Now, those, those baby seats work right through from, from today, right through to four years old. Oh, oh. This is the good part for me. Well, you've got a great <laughs> job, I tell you. Good on you. <laughs> good on you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very pleased. Oh, wait. It's all too much. A trial over these next two. Nice touch with the car, Katie. Well, Shane and Janine have got a big job ahead of them, but at least now they're off to a good start. Simone, it's quite a job tracking down that Labrador puppy. Did it do the trick in the end? Well, they don't call it puppy love for nothing, Thorpe, and I reckon it might be the beginning of a very beautiful friendship. It had taken a long, long search and a family's kind generosity 
But finally, all is in readiness. Little Amanda and Mitchell are about to meet a new best friend. Hi. Hello. I'm Simone from Undercover Angels, and we hear that your dog was stolen, so we thought we'd give you another one. Oh, Do you want to take Chloe. This oh, is Chloe. This is beautiful. Look, kids, it's Chloe. It's your new puppy. What do you think Ooh. of that? Oh, Mitch. <laughs> How lucky are we? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. So she was sent with a lot of love oh. for my children. She'll oh, certainly be loved here. Yeah. She's oh. okay. You take care. And you take care of them. And you have a very long and happy life. Okay? Okay, bye bye. Thank you so it. much. We really I'm gonna appreciate cry. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dog. Thank you. Looks like little Chloe's found herself a great new family. And it looked like it was a day for all the family, in your case, Jackie. Yeah, we had a lot of people to welcome in the new deck, but little did they know I had a few more surprises up my sleeve. Now remember Kate, she's the bridesmaid Jane hasn't seen in 23 years. I've got one more surprise for you. Yeah. You ready? To you. Well, there's one other thing. You've always wanted us to renew our marriage vows. So would you back me again? But I cannot swim over and neither have I the wings to fly. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. There we, we have Kate, the maid of honor. Then she's here with us. So I asked them to give the first kiss after the renewals of vows and let us congratulate them. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Excellent work as always, Angels.